There's been a lot of talk about autonomous vehicles, uh, driverless cars. Uh, I think 2019 will be the year when we start seeing these things appearing on our streets uh, and people really start to think through how we should use this technology um, to help us uh, rather than make things worse. The impact of Industry 4 on job quality and working conditions is a major preoccupation in my field. We will be continuing to work in this area and I am particularly concerned to examine the implications for quality and diversity in the workplace. Notably, the University has won this year the prestigious 2018 Newton Prize, which is awarded to projects that have a real impact on the social and economic growth of developing countries around the world. The project was about addressing and reinforcing the resilience of the Chilean transmission network against earthquakes and natural hazards in general, also extreme weather events driven by climate change. So in 2019, we are looking forward in utilizing this prize in order to further broaden the impact of our advanced mathematical optimization tools in order to improve and further enhance the resilience of the energy infrastructure of developing countries around the world against extreme weather events and natural hazards. So I work in biomedical materials and over the next 12 months I predict we'll see an increase in translation of our materials through to the clinic. So actually moving more of our products that we're looking at innovation within a lower technology readiness level within the university through to the clinic that the patients can actually use. In 2019 I also predict that we'll see an increase in biomaterials research in the use of multi morbidity, so patients suffering from multiple diseases and actually not looking at them just in isolation but as a joint effort so we can see the response of um, inflammation as a result from rheumatoid arthritis and how that would affect mental health for example and how biomaterials research can actually improve the patient healthcare. One of the big trends we're going to see next year is towards urban health. People are starting to realise how much things like poor air quality harm them and their children. Cities are starting to realise this too. Uh, and I think one of the things that's going to happen over the coming 12 months is we're going to see a lot more action uh, around tackling this problem. I think the most exciting part for the coming year will be continuing what we've started already, which is uh, bringing together a community of disciplines across cybersecurity, not just within the university, but also working with partners uh, in industry uh, and also uh, in, in legal services and law enforcement uh, and central and local government, and also stretching out into the community. This is not a problem that any single area will solve. We've got an awful uh, reputation of swinging between trying to solve things with technology or trying to lump the uh, the blame on uh, on the on the poor users, uh, which is certainly not the uh, not the approach because we're all part of the systems that we use. So we all need to take a degree of responsibility, but that also means offering a degree of support too. My final prediction is probably less uh, surprising. Uh, it involves plastic. Uh, one of the Biggest things that happened this year in the UK from an environmental point of view was Blue Planet igniting the nation's enthusiasm uh, for cutting down its addiction to single-use plastic. Um, there's an awful lot of ambitious plans that are now being rolled out and I think in 2019 we will be hearing a lot more uh, about plastic and we'll be seeing changes uh, in the products we buy uh, and the things we do. Within my, my group, we are working at um, different aspects related to Industry 4.0. So this fourth industrial revolution, it's about uh, virtualization. So we are developing uh, uh, advanced tools to visualize complex systems, uh, to support the design of advanced products and to showcase those products. Um, it's about advanced manufacturing uh, technologies and we are particularly focusing on 3D printing. Uh, printing uh, cells for tissue engineering, uh, printing smart materials uh, to create morphing structures, structures that can sense the environment, responding to the environment. And we're also focusing on connectivity, which is another uh, keyword, uh, uh, important keyword for Industry 4.0, using uh, Internet of Things uh, for connected manufacturing, connected agriculture, connected healthcare.